G, uh, Colin, L on separate lines from uh, Special. What do you make of that? Uh, I think that is Special. Just make sure his hotkeys are working. Because again, finally, we're in game one once again. Also need to point out, you, you mentioned that Epic is playing for Psy Storm. Special has been picked up by, uh, by Hyper One Esports. By, for those of you that are not familiar, Hyper One makes a lot of free-for-all maps. You know, he's big into that community and he decided to put a, a team together for the WTL and other things like that. And he signed Special as his ringer, which is, uh, hey, love to see more support in the scene. Thank you very much, Hyper One. You're awesome. Thank you very much, Hyper One. That is awesome. So for now, cats, we're looking at a TVP or TVT. It's barracks, double gas. We should see the factory on the way behind this. Do you see any, like, where, where do we deviate? Special is obviously a tinkerer in TVT. He kind of invented this double star port uh, mech all in that we saw that happening a lot last year. Uh, he plays mech in this matchup. He plays bio in this matchup. This, this was a couple months ago when the Cyclones were a lot better in TVT than they are now, or I guess a month ago, we, we probably be see him play the Cyclone mech style. Mm. Where do you think, like, where, where do you think, this, what do you think Special's got up his sleeve as we get ourselves ready for this TVT? Um, well, if I could, I can't, I, I couldn't tell you that, right? Like, it's very difficult for me to know what is up his sleeve, but... His arms. Yeah. I think it might be his arms. <laughs> That's what I was thinking as well. Yeah, you know, it's like the the, the, the old the old saying. Wait, you know? wait, 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 Bill. Yeah. What do you think Epic has up his sleeve? Also his arms, cats. Nice. Mm. Got him. I got you. See, you know, the like the old saying, you know, where did the, where did the general hide his armies? Where? In his sleeveies. All right, then. I really like that the SUV, the SUV, <laughs> the SUV building the factory was kind of a cricket noise. <laughs> <laughs> that was the best. Uh, I'm just sitting here and I'm like, I understand. Well, that's a horrible joke, but Cats is just like, I'm being cyber bullied right now. This is what this, what this what's <laughs> happening, and it's deserved. You know, sometimes bullying is deserved, and right now Cats is mm. deservedly cyber bullying. I see, I see. I'm so jokes. sorry. Uh, as an SCV will so fall down, Special also getting a lot of damage on these Reapers. So he's going to be able to dive his way into the natural. And this should be a delay on the command center as AD charge isn't going to land. So the Reapers continue to heal, but he does delay the command center. Cyclone pops out. And at the end of the day, I think Special's command center was delayed a little bit by the first Reaper. And he does have to be careful that he doesn't get chased down, but he does get a little bit more substantive damage done. Now, Epic, he's also, this is a... Cats, did you ever watch the original Dr. Doolittle, like 1970s or so? Um, because if you did, you would know that they had an animal that looked like a llama, except it had a head on both sides. It was a push me, pull you. And it would go forward and go mm. backwards, and you know, it was the push me, pull you. And that's what this map is turning into. Special pushes me, Epic pulls you, right? Just back and forth across the map over and over Love again, it. at least for a little bit. Yeah, that's always a, a fun way to. Uh to i i think to to look at how games are progressing right like if it's a back and forth game it's usually a a good metric to go by but by by um assuming that it's been exciting and that advantages have shifted over time so you always want a back and forth game and if we are blessed with that or if we were for a little bit then uh yeah, you do right to highlight it and enjoy it and now we're heading into the banshee portion banshees and uh and and and, and uh ravens as well so what do you make of this? Do you like the Banshee? Funny cats, I was about to ask you the same question. Uh, I mm. I think it's interesting. We don't see Banshees, at least you look at like the Korean TVT meta. We don't see Banshees all that often. But I feel like because we don't see Banshees all that often, when we see them, they're actually very good. They just kind of sweep in and they're going to get like five, seven SCVs. And even though it does take a while and it takes two shots to kill an SCV, it's generally, <laughs> you know, it's, you kind of can dive in when an army's not in position. And... The other thing that we got to talk about here is, well, Cyclones, one of the reasons Banshees weren't all that good for the last couple of months is, well, Cyclones were really good. We saw a ton of Cyclones. So now that they've been nerfed and we're not, we're seeing like the defensive Cyclone set up and not like the 10 Cyclones or whatever get made, that suddenly these Banshees are a lot more viable. Marines are going to go down, four SCVs go down, Special's going to run head first into a Cyclone that should eventually kill this Banshee, but it's going to get six, bro, six Jeez. SCVs. 
he gets a marine that's quite a lot whole scout yeah. the main base it's great for special yeah it's amazing for a special and it's not like he like his production was early enough that he's not falling too far behind in terms of ravens or anything like that so uh, epic is kind of hard pressed to find any advantage at the moment as he is now trailing over 10 supply too and uh, yeah things look very good for the mexican el mexicano exactly so now it's epic i mean i do like this sending the reapers in like this it's a weird timing generally reapers aren't all that great anymore but they three reapers two shot scvs so i expected him to dive in the middle line but he's just gonna say you know what like i'm gonna delay your i'm gonna delay your barracks that's fun i'm gonna maybe get out and fight again another day but not with the cyclones here so this has now become a one-way trip for the reapers other side though seems like epic's handling that one-way trip a little bit better it doesn't lose anything from it although ravens dropping on top of a bunch of marines here looking to i get oh, the cyclone raven, raven. Oh gonna get a raven God, gets epic. a second well, no only gets one raven i think he was trying to type snipe stim is the thing but he gets a raven gets a couple marines gets a cyclone yeah. does he snipe stim cats no he doesn't i don't think special's crying about it though I think he's very happy with this that yeah that was uh, he's gotta be yeah ecstatic about it it's very difficult for epic to make something happen from this position now i mean losing the extra ravens like he really didn't need to re-engage onto onto that location where where uh, special was dropping the turrets right like he could have just waited it out but just a, a lack of uh, of attention right like he just kind of probably clicked on the blob on the minimap and and tried not to fall behind on other areas and continue to do his tasks but it cost him dearly and now special looking to close things out trying to drop some uh, turrets here offensively as well to get rid of these tanks one of them is disabled in the back the other one does still get to fire and uh i mean this is plenty for special to still continue to get the cleanup epic does a good job of cleaning one of the tanks up but special still with a favorable trade i would say because uh he has already a third mining and he's going to continue to prevent epics yeah, i gotta say i'm a little surprised to see epic go and try to take that third base but look there's an army sieging up there there are marines there are cyclones there are tanks uh, just, putting that base down only means you have to repair it later like it's just there, there's no value to be gained by doing so so for now epic ransom are floating in the main base yeah he's probably got enough that he can shove this back once the ravens get energy is the guess it's only two tanks here it's not a massive army for special but you give it a little bit more time the rally continues the scvs run forward and they get i get repair yeah, they get dragged forward by the ravens on the repair and that makes them take a shot or two now here's the thing though uh here's the thing though cats one one is one, one, done one for epic and it's not even yeah. close for special I think that's where we go. If you're epic, he is on sieging right now. And re-sieging actually a little bit closer to special as he now stims his 1-1 bio to try to make something happen, but he's gonna run into a tank line of three, and that's gonna be just plenty for special to continue to push on fourth. One of the Ravens at, le at least was uh, lost as well from epic in that altercation which i mean this is just just from bad to worse right and the reason he wants to take that expansion is because he wants to match his opponent right otherwise he's look at look at that he has 33 workers that is natural so very far from efficiently mining here is epic and that just makes things further um close to impossible for him epic is dead uh he's gonna try yeah. to make one last dish ever and hey <laughs> he can still lose a bunch of scvs and be saturated he actually this is a pretty decent He's only lost two SCVs thus far. Like, this is a fairly decent breakout. The problem is, there's still bio. And he's still not, he's not truly breaking out. His 1-1 one, one is, Special's 1-1 one, one is done now. So even that advantage is not really a thing for Epic anymore. So it was a decent attempt. He didn't lose that many workers for it. All things considered, it gets the tanks. But now the economic damage is going to get done. Now Special's here. If Special's army in the main base is bigger than Epic's army in the main base, which is not a good feeling when you're the defensive Terran player. So Epic... Looks like this tank might survive. It might, yeah, it does survive, actually. So Epic will force special back. But, you know, cats, yeah. it's a 50 supply lead. I'd love to be able to tell you some story about it. Have you heard the story about when Epic came back from a crazy deficit? This is not story time, cats. We're, I, we are not the Brothers Grimm. This is the real world, and there is not a whole lot coming back for Epic in this game. You are right about that. Who are the Brothers Grimm? It's maybe the most important question left to answer in this game, Mas. The rest of it is already, I think, spoken for. Well, actually, I guess we are. We might be the Brothers Grimm. Because if you wrap back and read those fairy tales, they're dark, they're twisted. There's a lot of death and, <laughs> and dismemberment and other sad things. Mm. That, that's kind of okay. what this game's turning into. So I guess we're a not A little too. bit, yeah. We're the Brothers Grimm. It, there we it's go. pretty much over, yeah. I mean, let, let's see here. I mean, Epic might get a cleanup here, which is 
I'm gonna give him a, a false sense of hope. But uh, re in reality, I mean, it's special on four base mining over 50 supply now uh, ahead, and it will only continue to get worse and worse as Epic is trying to hold on for dear life. But there is just no chance, Lance. It is done. No chance, Jose, and I think you'll say. No chance, Jose is the real one, yeah. But sometimes you have to say no chance, Lance, and no way, Jose, so that people understand where the roots are of no chance, Jose. Funny because I've always heard it be like, I. I don't think I've ever heard no chance, Jose. I think I've always heard no way, Jose. Right, that's the joke, yeah. Oh, okay. It's like, there's no way, Jose, and there's no chance, Lance. No chance, Lance, and no way, Jose, because they rhyme. But then you say no chance, Jose, we'll and then people it. are like, wait, what? It doesn't make sense. It doesn't rhyme. No. Like, well, it did, you know, you, you put a rhyme in a coconut, and you drink it all up. Anyway. Uh, game one. What? Wait, 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 what? You put How a lime in a coconut. You put a rhyme. Anyway. Oh, uh, I see. <laughs> it's been a long day of starcraft we're we're going along though uh, epic down zero one certainly he goes and just doesn't Trendy. handle the aggression from special all that well his his own aggression doesn't really work out and you know we, we talked about is special in good form is he not in good form like where is he standing i think tvt is one of those matchups where he's always been so good that relative form one way or the other unless he's running into i don't know clem Maru, mm. Pure, mm. whoever it is, anyone in North America, even if yeah. he's in poor form, eh, maybe Kelzer. Kelzer did knock him down, did knock him out in the last uh, DreamHack Latin America regional. You know, he's looking at this situation where he's probably going to, regardless of the form he's in, regardless of how practiced he is, he's probably going to take down any other Terran in a TVT. He's just that good at the matchup, just as, as a base level. Yeah. I agree. He is very, very good. I mean, he's one of the one of those players that has broken through, right, and has been a, a contender and and uh, capable of basically beating anyone on the planet, right? Like it's he, he is that caliber of player that can that can really take it to the best when he is in shape. So so yeah, for for sure, Epic hasn't really ever breached to that level, and uh, yeah, it's not like unrealistic for him to win a game or two against Special, but it's it's certainly going to be hard. And you know, like Epic's had some good runs. He took down Scarlet in a region, um, but, in a regional yeah. a bit ago. Like he is good, but again, Specials TVT is yeah. uh, nothing to shake a stick at. For sure, when Epic did beat Scarlet, though, that was by far TVT was by far his best. Oh yeah, and, like he was a, a beast at TVT. He might still be. He's very very good at the matchup. Well, for now, up one here for Hyper One Esports is special. And the top left hand side, it is for Sidestorm Gaming Epic. He's always happy as well, this guy. Always smiling. It's funny, I, uh, I ran into Epic a couple times on ladder in a, another RTS that we you know, shall not be named. And it was funny, because like, I was like, top 200 or top 100 doing very well. And it, I ran into Epic. All of a sudden, I'm like, this is the first, <laughs> first player I've run into on this ladder. I'm like, I feel like I've got no shot. Uh, mm -hmm. Granted, Epic's a pro player. You know, this was like the first five days of that play test. So it was, mm -hmm. it weren't like the, the skill levels hadn't filled out. And playing a decent amount of games got you up there. But it's like, man, like, again, yeah, Epic is a solid player. He has really good RTS fundamentals. He made it, he's made a deep run in several other, you know, other RTS tournaments. But again, it's special. Special's doing what special does. So question now is we get into game two and you know certainly we're looking at a site delta that has a natural ramp maybe maybe you go for mac and does special break out the mech chops here in game two he very well might i mean he that is kind of like part of his um, identity as a player i think his bread and butter is being a little bit of a mix right he's one of those players that more or less plays 50 50 by on mech i think in this matchup so would be cool for sure do you want to see it i do yeah i think special's been long like special on gumiho and then Ty when he was uh, when he was back, or, of course he's retired now at least from StarCraft too. But like when you, you Ty Gumiho and Special, and they're all like really designing, really leading on on how Mech works. So for now, leading with the uh, leading with the SCV, trying to get a first shot on the Reaper. Now, unfortunately, actually wait, no, no, Epic's got the positive yeah, trade Epic here. He's gonna try to yeah. chase this down. Unfo Reaper goes up the high ground. So at the end of the day, Epic's not even gonna get the SCV. What he does do though. Is he forces the command center to be built on the high ground? He forces it to be built later than, than Epic's is. So 
minor lead, minor advantage from Epic in the start of game two, but hey, look, oh, any sort of advantage. Oh, he's gonna get a Reaper as well. Uh, no. No? Never mind. No, and in fact, he sneaks past these two Reapers, but that means the two Reapers are out post on the other side of the map. However, Epic is again, not gonna not gonna trust himself to go up and, and kind of trade actions with special, even though he had the unit lead there. A little bit sad. He could have gotten a lot, I feel like, before Special got, a, got any sort of real counter out, as now the first two Cyclones are about to pop up. Um, Special does suicide his Reaper. But yeah, I feel like an opportunity mister from uh, Epic. Yeah, I... Hmm. So this is Reactor Cyclones coming out of Special as we... Okay, so Reactor Cyclones briefly getting re researching Cloak, but now this is going to be for, for Ravens. So... This is going to be a Hellion dropout of special to start. He's building a ton of Cyclones here. Yeah, this might be a Cyclone Mech. Uh, we're going to have to see when... Yeah, no, he, look at... Look Cyclone at, Mech, baby. Look at how quickly he's taking the gases on his natural, even before the command center floats over. This this is starting to feel like mm. special plan. Not traditional mech, certainly not tank-focused, whatever it is, but this nouveau Cyclone Mech style, which was, in fairness, that's pretty heavily nerfed. In the, in the last patch. So again, it's going to be interesting to see how special adapts and plays it maybe a little bit differently. It is going to be interesting indeed. I mean, uh, medevac on medevac action here, like ships in the night towards each other's bases. So we'll see. A lot of this comes down to micro, task, mi micro uh, management and multitasking. In some sense, it's a little bit easier on the side of special as he has less units to work with. Um, and, and you know, like if he can, if he can defend a little more, a little more easily, and then continue to apply pressure here, as he is, finds a Viking as well right off the bat, and the position for Epic is not particularly good. A special is quick to just kind of like cancel his command center. Nice job from Epic defending on the other side, however. So now all of a sudden that he has repelled the aggression with only four SCVs lost, this position becomes very, very strong for Epic. Yeah, I really like this for Epic all of a sudden. He goes on top. SCVs are going to have to repair. Otherwise, this... Does Epic kill the Orbital? I don't think there's enough damage no, on the no ground chance. when it's floating to make that happen. But, I mean, he's making it low. Ravens try to show up. <laughs> Cyclone really wants to drop on top of that tank, but that is not going to happen. So, nine oh. SCVs go down. Raven gets the shutdown on the nice. tank. So, this Look should on. be the cleanup right now. But the question... Oh, but it's cats, good for Epic. Yeah, at the end of the day, like... How much damage is that? Oh, he's going to get two Cyclones. Is he, he's not going to get this extra Raven. But it's nine SCVs oh, going down. It's a Raven in, dead. It. You love this for Epic. Yeah, and it's it's beautiful as well that he goes back in because he knows where all the units of Special are. Special in a little bit of a panic here as uh, Epic is going to go back in for second servings. And if he could have gotten that, that the Raven, that would have been absolutely massive. He does. And still a nice trade for Epic when all is said and done. He is 26 supply ahead and... Things are looking very, very good right now. Do you want to try to? Do you want to bet on special right now? No, yes. I've already, I've already look. I've already gone, and I've learned my lesson, and that is, <laughs> that is, don't bet on broadcast. <laughs> You're gonna, it's not gonna work out regardless. So, Cyclones here, drop into the main base from special, get some damage done. But I mean, cats, he needs to get so much done here with the Cyclone drop. And by the way, this one Cyclone is, it can't take a single shot. It's got like five HP. It is yeah. so low, but. You got mobility on your side, and notice what's special. Doing a, I, eh, that was that was more. Uh, you might oh have done that intentionally, but that low well, side. On the other side, however, that's the big, the big stuff is happening here as Epic is pushing special back. There isn't any tanks on the high ground, as far as I can tell, which means Epic should be able to situate himself here slowly, and he does so beautifully, just leapfrogging little by little. On the other side, special is trying to make something happen to set himself a win condition. Should he be able to defend? But that in itself is looking very grim. Now forced to to pull up his. Uh, command center and to start floating away and uh, yeah I mean maybe another leapfrog from Epic is warranted here from one of those tanks if he can do that I think he can close the game right now because all of those SCVs will be dead and there is that tank area getting ready to go as the push from Epic from special will force Epic to stop in his tracks and just defend that should be plenty enough this should be game number two going to the side of the American yeah, unfortunately for special, there he goes, and his he tries to make this last break, last break happen. Cyclones get stuck behind the mineral line, so it's just they're clumped up. The last last defense was never really defense in the first place. Mm, never really. Man. The last defense was something. The last defense like was um, a good offense? No, it was bad offense. Like I'm... Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so I, really that goes down to the fact that special lost a ton of Ravens. 
they were all sniped down by cyclones and Vikings and yeah. everything like that. So it's like maybe if he's got he actually in the last attack for Epic, he's starting to get damage done with his cyclones on the other side. It's like okay, you can survive mm. here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you don't lose your ravens, which he did, if you don't lose your ravens, maybe you can get shutdowns on the tanks and pull the SCVs and make something happen. But losing those two ravens before the fight, before the defense even started, kind of hard to win a game when you're down three ravens. Completely agree. And yeah, Special could have maybe done a little bit more damage with his Cyclones or something like that. Then there was some semblance of hope, right? I pulled all my SCVs to defend, but I killed like all the SCVs in your main. Maybe there's a chance. But Epic did a really good job of prioritizing and of being like, actually, I'm going to put out fires in my main before actually pushing them forward uh, further. And, and, and he does a really good job of, uh, of uh, you know, setting himself the right priorities, going over them and, um, and closing out a game very well and elegantly done. El Epico. El Epico. Now, Cats, do you have hope? Do you have faith? Does Trouble. Epic go 1-0 here in round one of Swiss against probably one of his scariest opponents? Does he have um, what it takes? I do have hope. Do you want to bet on it? No. <laughs> We've been over this, Cats. I've learned my lesson. Okay. In that case, I don't have hope. <laughs> you see? Yeah. I only have hope if I can drag Bayo into another meal. If I can get him, if I can convince him to buy me another meal. Another one. Another one. All right. Well, we got Al Alkioni. How do you feel about this map in the TVT matchup? Are yeah, you a fan? I like the map in general. I think it probably was the best map of the last pool. Um, I, it certainly can lead to like a more... I don't know if stable is the right word ever to use with the TVT, but a more mid-game focused setup because you have these high ground positions, a decently defensible third base. You have the rocks. You can go for some proxies. Like it is... It's a pretty interesting map. Mm. Uh, I'm excited to see what... Epic probably has in store for us because I do think he's still the one that probably has to be the, the first mover and the first shaker in this setup. Yeah. Regardless, we're going to find out. Cats, we don't have to figure. We don't have to guess anymore. We're into game we three. And in the bottom left, in the red, he's playing for Hyper One once again. Looking to move up to that 1-0 in the Swiss. It's special. And in the top right hand side, he is playing for Sidestorm once again, looking to move up one zero in the Swiss. It is epic. What a beast. What a beast. So cats, what happens in Leo. this game? And how can we spin it to argue that Zerg is Emba? So what's gonna happen in this game? Is going to be that. Wait, the special technically go mech? He or did he? Like, I guess he kind of did, right? He never really got there. Like, he built cyclones. Hmm. But it was still 1 1 1, right? We we never really got to see what his game plan was because Epic just kind of ran across the map with a single tank and a single cyclone and four Marines and bashed his face in. Okay. I think that one player will kill the other Reaper. Do you think that'll happen or not this game? Do you think it'll disengage? disengage? I think at some point a Reaper will die. No, no, no. But do you think in the initial altercation, there's going to be like a, a Reaper trade-off of any kind? I, uh, I don't think so. I, you know, we, we even had opportunities yeah. for that to happen in game two where Epic probably could have done so, but he didn't chase it down. It's always so scary, right, Cats, to try to chase a Reaper down and, and find that advantage. And it's like, oh, well, you know, maybe there's a Reaper behind and I'm baiting myself into a bad fight. This feels rough. So for now, we're... <laughs> You know, look, as this... Uh -oh. oh, SCV. You gotta knock it down. Uh -oh. TD charge. SCV. Oh, this, wow. This, this has gotta dodge. die. Gotta die. Gotta die. Kill it. Epic. Knock it down. Sure. It's dead. There we go. You Good got job, it. Epic. <laughs> that was beautiful. I mean, beautiful micro from Epic here. As he now looks to corner the Reaper of Special and successfully getting the first pot shot from his Reaper to his to his uh, enemies and now finding an SCV as well. It's gonna be very difficult for that SCV to disengage, but instead it's Epic who's gonna have to sacrifice his SCV to make sure that the Reaper can acquire enough of a distance to get away from the two Reapers. However, Epic has a Reaper of his own, trying to set up a trap that Special ain't biting. Oh man, uh, you talk about TVT and you talk about Alcyone. I hate, and I love at the same time, the, the Zelnaga Tower here on Alcyone because you can hold with Marines and with tanks in particular. You can hold the Zelnaga Tower. You get the vision while hiding in the line mm. of sight blocker. And small units, like you can't. There are only so many units that can fit in there. So you put a hold position like Epic has done. And this mm. is effectively unassailable until you have a, 
a lot more army. You have medevacs or something that let you, you know, gives you flying vision, or you know, he's got so much that you can bull rush right through it. It is there is so much value in holding the in holding the the line of sight blocker. It gives you the Zonaga Tower really hard to defend or hard to attack into. So that is one thing we can talk about in TVT here. Special though, he's not even fighting for it. He's taking the long way around with these two Reapers. He's not going to so be able to play the natural. you say you and you load. Oh, that is nasty, actually. Big, big, big from special here. He's going to find all of this as he is exposed at the gas and using the KDA grenades as well to bounce one of them and deal damage to another to close it off. So very, very well done from special. Now equalizing the worker count as a result. Oh, this is scary. epic. I think he's trying to chase it down. Yeah, there's the trap. These Reapers are dead. Uh -huh. There is... I don't think there should be a way. He's, he's going to try to find his way into the main base. No, they are... 100 percent dead here so you know cats the reapers died what? but not in the way that we were talking about so i i think you know finally <laughs> all day of you baiting me into baiting me into prognostications and predictions and and bets and things that i've ended up on the wrong side of finally finally i got one right just a little well, bit well you also manufactured that uh three percent uh guess by uh hey. inputting the right uh the, the the Astrea 1-0. Look at I didn't know what Illegal Act was gonna say before <laughs> I pulled it up. Let's see what happens here. <laughs> this is about to happen. Perhaps the Raven is uh, looking for an angle here to disable the tank. Might have to go for the for 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 the Cyclone as well. Here comes Special though. He's ready to breach out, and it will be done. No problem. Yeah, I mean, this is by the way. You talk about interference. It, interference Matrix is halfway done. That would have been an auto turret break, which is a little bit more dicey i think actually dropping down he's got a second tank here i think in this oh, wow. medevac medevac stays alive cyclone stays alive here oh, and now epic's the one that uh -oh. wants to move forward reaper gets the cyclone how often do you get Cute. to say that cat that's really nice even as the cyclone goes down here epic's got a it's hard to attack into and certainly with interference matrix but epic like in a straight up fight his army is maybe just that much more powerful here's the thing though cats that's a fourth raven on the way for special here he is Mm. really committing to this sky power yeah sky power from special here and on the other side i mean epic is the one with a with a supply lead right and the army lead as well by a little bit so yeah he may not have that uh that transition into the later stages of the game as clean as special but he certainly has oh. a lot of potential now as the ravens are gonna spot the, the medevacs and, and vice versa you gotta start dropping those units potentially a little bit sooner to make sure that you can kind of punish some of those ravens instead the ravens are gonna be in a perfect position to get rid of the tanks via turrets this time around and this is a clean clean up from special onto epic so uh, a little bit of a sag yeah you know it was promising Special had sky power, but unfortunately, Epic is not in contact with the Fremen. He does not have sand power that, that truly counters the, the, the air power. So, dives in, loses everything, and I think Special Epic was in a pretty solid spot. There was no pressure for him to go and dive into the main Are base like that. Doom? And you're now... A fan of, you read the books. Sorry? Have you read the books? I, yeah, well, I've, I've read Dune. I, I got my way... I got like a third uh, of the way through. There's a lot of them, right? Sorry? There's a lot of books, no? Yeah, there's a ton. I, I got my way. I read book one. I got like a third of the way through book two, but uh, I think it's Dune Messiah's book two is just, it's, it's a slog to get through. It is. Okay. Like it's a chunky book? It's just, it's just slow. And mm. it doesn't grab you is probably the best way to say it. Oh, wow. Okay. So the movie's better ravens, than the book the is what you're saying? That is a lot of ravens. That is so many ravens. And now, I mean, yeah, the supplies are relatively equal. It was 95 to 85. That's not too bad, but... Oh, nice. This Raven count invalidates so much of this army of Epic. It makes it so hard for him to make this defense happen. He's got a couple, sure. But, I mean, five Ravens and two is just infinitely more at this point. Well... An argument could be made against that statement, but for for I mean for the most part they're doing a really good job here, Epic and Special are trying to trade effectively here. I love this setup. It's like ah, you can interfere, I can interfere, you can interfere, I can interfere. Let's go! And uh, thanks, I'm gonna have to run forward, but there's no vision. So trading tank for tank, do we? Have, yeah, okay. Auto turret's okay. gonna get knocked down. What are we looking at tank count wise? One to zero, twelve Viking, twelve Marines to eleven. Epic is, Even you're right. Supply. Epic's handling this really nicely. Yeah, it's been a nice dance here. 
Now liberators, however, to aid the tanks, and that's gonna be where Epic says enough is enough. I'm getting out of here. I'm floating my third, probably. I, I, I would think just horizontally to his uh, natural, so let's just go for that. And see if you can gain a little bit of space out on the map. A special looks to retreat. Knows that he could get breached any moment here. And the Liberators are going to be facing a certain di direction. Exposing their back potentially. So Wise perhaps disengage here from special. But he, he did what he had to do. This is a lot of mining time lost on the transfer from Epic. I mean, you look at the income graph and it is just a spike <laughs> down for special. Now, granted, it'll go and, and find his way back. Right, and it will develop itself roughly, roughly evenly, but mm -hmm. like that is that is like I don't know, a couple hundred minerals that suddenly Epic does not have. That's another tank, maybe a couple more Marines, whatever it is. And these double liberators here, they're doing such a good job of covering each other, so it's hard for Marines to get on top. Now though, liberators, they're gonna siege up once again, and it's gonna delay the armory, which is actually a big deal. Epic would Epic has an, an upgrade advantage right now. He's one one versus zero zero. But mm. delaying that uh, delaying that armory closes the two two timing, so that's actually a pretty nice setup that uh, that special has. And by the way, because the supply depot's not raised, he's not restarting this armory. I don't know if yeah, he thinks it's done or sad. whatever it is, but he needs to get an SCV on that. Oh, like this is a big deal. Special's pulling ahead and upgrades. Yeah, that's very tough. Now he notices, so he's going to get to it and finish that armory finally. But yeah, that was a lot of that time for, from Epic. At the same time, he's not out of this game yet. 83 workers, 271. Um, so, and similar supplies. So, you know, this is very much workable. It's going to come down to the engagements. Uh, you could potentially, like, yeah, this, that's a huge doom drop from special. That's gets spotted towards the tail end, but e e Epic's army is way out of position. Yeah, does he pick up boost in the main base? Looks like now, no, just pulls SCVs into this. That's a meat grinder, certainly. Raven's like, oh no, Ravens, uh -oh. they're gonna be okay. They're not gonna... That was a very scary situation where it looks like the Ravens might have been targeted down, but as it stands, they shut down the tank, Marines go down. And now, mm -hmm. Cats, you know, we were talking about this game, and we talked about this game of StarCraft, and one of the important things when we were talking about this game of StarCraft is macro is important. Epic was at a thousand minerals in that setup. He had so much money as a, as a Raven gets sniped him. Nice shop special. He had so much money to the point where his supply, like he'd probably be about 20 army supply if he had spent the money properly. Now he's getting himself back into it. His two twos on the way. Plus one attack from Mech is a lot slower than specials is. But there is this timer now that Epic's got to deal with because yeah, he got his third base up as this tank's going to get shut down in the middle, gets a shot, but Medivac's going to heal that. <laughs> Epic's only on three bases. He got his fourth command center about halfway done. Special's got his planetary done. Like, he is well set up here to go into the mid game, to go into the late game. And it feels like there's a bit of a timing for Epic. He's got to get something done. Oh, Ooh, oh. full medevac is shut down here, but even still, tough. that's still 16 Marines. They're going to show up. Oh, through the middle here. All of a sudden, oh, Epic gets on top of things. Nice shutdowns on all the tanks. And yeah, anti-armor missiles a thing. Absolutely. But his tanks aren't truly getting shut down here. Not in any way that kills the tanks down. So... Oh, Big gotta get those SCVs. Massive drop in the main base. Absolutely. The special's getting, he's gonna knock the third base down and that's as you rightly pointed out, the SCVs stay alive. So it is a 30 SCV lead, but special's a special supply blocked by about 30 supply. Yeah, he's oh, gonna have this Ravens. TP timing. Ravens are gonna go down here as well. This is a beautiful, Epic has to get more done, I think, to really justify this, but he's starting to find his way in and he really can't lose these SCVs. And yet he is. So 47 workers only remaining for Epic, nearly double from his opponent, who is also on the chase. Oh, these Marines that are gonna kind of fun funnel through a little bit of a choke oh. and turn a, a nasty corner, <laughs> but now it's on the other end. The units that clamp up uh, as Mapu shows us exactly the, the center of, of the of the explosion there from the tanks. A beautiful set of shots, and Epic is actually the one that comes out on top as far as the supply is concerned and and that means 107 army supply to the 55 of special so nearly double in terms of army supply by, by virtue of being so behind in workers which means epic if you're epic if you're rooting for epic you want to send them the 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 mind wave that says go attack him and try your best to kill him now that's yeah, gonna use the voice right just go attack you run right on voice, yeah. run rough shot over your opponent the tanks are gonna get shut down very quickly up the high ground here there's a tank who the hell he's, anti armor wow. missile who the hell is cares? he doing it no way this surely is, not right oh no, he's this would be a huge supply. upset yeah epic's know, gonna do it here just, do drop. oh this is scary though on top two oh. medivacs go down only one of them had any sort of anything inside of it into the main base 
of all the ways for Epic to try to win this, Ravens? this is the worst possible. This is the scariest idea. And all of a sudden, it's not it's a 40 army supply lead, Cats. It's a 20 army supply Oh my god, the lead. Ravens fall. All the tanks are shut down. This is a good concave for special. Oh my god. And out of she's, defeat she's comes it. maybe victory. I, I guess it's not no, even no, going to no, be no, enough no despite that. But Epic still got it. Yeah, okay, no you know, it <laughs> got scary. Epic still got Epic it. is on four base as well, worth of, worth of uh, real estate, right? So I, I think that Special could have actually shut this down because he had a lot of energy on those Ravens. I think he could have just forced an evacuation by dropping a lot of auto turrets as soon as he could. Um, instead, a couple of those just end up falling and, and you know, like you, you get the, the disruption onto a couple of tanks, but didn't really seem to make too much use out of that until the... Um, tail end so i feel like that could have still been done a couple of turrets and then special might have been able to stabilize a little bit cleaner but instead it's epic who continues to have a massive army lead and uh is looking now to to punch through special and send them back to mexico back to mexico yeah absolutely now there is one advantage that special has which i think is worth talking about he's plus he's one attack is or plus three attack excuse me is so much faster that you drop how many ravens does he still have ravens he doesn't so you can't effectively build yourself a three upgrade lead but even a single upgrade in this matchup is this medevac hey med, 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 missile turret's pretty good but even a single upgrade lead in this matchup when it's marines versus marines with how fast they shoot how i mean it's only 55 hp they don't have a lot here many there are yeah it's it can be a big difference even still at this point all epic has to do build his economy up once again yeah special's got ads tvs and He's on four bases. Epic's got his fifth base. Wait until three, three. You got your supply lead. You got your, you got your advantage. You got your theoretical game winning advantage. And the worst thing you can do right now is try to attack into a defensive Terran that's all set up, throw your supply lead away and just really not, and, and lose everything, lose this advantage that you have. So special is moving on the map. Like this is not, Epic should not be taking these fights again. Max out, Wait, what get your do you upgrades. Think should be? He is maxed out. Yeah, but get your upgrade. He's, he's six to okay, play okay. off, but like you are. See, see. Let's wait for the three, three. Exactly. Yeah. Got it. Let's do that. I'm down for that. I think, I think, yeah, he has a couple of seconds here to go, but then I do want him to go. You want him to go or you don't want him to go? Yes. Oh, nice. Finds a few tanks here. That's very, very nice pickups here as three, maybe four of them will end up falling. Epic, very careful to drop the right ones, but on the other side, Papi, Papi, it's Juanito who will get rid of one of those uh, at command centers as well as a couple of SCVs. 10 total go down to make the, the count of Epic go down back back down to 60 after working hard to kind of stabilize on this front. This should drive this back, but uh, not before some losses. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, this... Yeah, okay, it actually is a 22 worker deficit. It is still four bases to four bases. Like, that is something and it's good now that epic actually had that north side base on the way uh i'm not is that specials missile turret that he's trying to make or is that okay no that is epic it just never got completed and epic does have a fifth base on the way as well on the right side so he yes he lost a base but he is actually done he's turning into a planetary so yeah mm -hmm. you know what losing that orbital it, it doesn't feel good but he's still got a decent economy here set up he's still actually despite being down about 22 workers or less 13 workers now he is still mining a lot more than, than than Special is. So he should be maxed out pretty soon. He had a little bit more of a bank. He's got 3-3. Three, three. And I like this transition as well. It's like you, you, you have these extra bases. You can get all this extra gas, get a Fleet Beacon, get into uh, Fleet Beacon. That's brought up. Uh, get yourself into that. Get yourself into the match. Like Raider play. Get your Fusion Core. Make Cattle Cruises if you want to. But continue to develop your tech. Because, man, it is so hard on El Cyanie to go and break something. The high crowns, the chokes are fantastic. As this missile turret's not, it gets damage done, doesn't prevent anything. And now Epic oh. walks away on two fronts into the main base, into this fourth base. The Liberators are here though, so he's yeah, gonna have huge. to give up on this idea. The main base is knocking down oh, wow. so Jeez. much infrastructure. Yeah, but look at the supply. I mean, Special is in a very good position as far as that's concerned. And for the first time in a while, he takes the army supply lead as Epic is going to focus fire. The orbital command, no saving there for special. The medevacs are going to allow enough sustain for Epic to overstay there and trade against the bio. But he is trailing 20 supply behind. Uh, 10 of that in army and 10, and 10 basically in workers. So Epic not in the position that he once was, where it looked dominant to some degree, where it looked like he just needed to close out the game and get the upset for himself. 
Instead, he is kind of in a little bit of trouble. A little bit of trouble. I'd say a lot of trouble here. We talked about like that triple lot. drop in from Epic into the main base. Like, oh man, he's knocking down infrastructure. He actually did get a lot. And Epic on the other side, he's losing barracks. He's losing and really barracks. That I think is the big thing. So at the end of the day, we look at infrastructure wise, four barracks from Epic mm -hmm. have died. He's killed one of specials. The production available to Epic right now is just not incredible. You can build 10, 10 Marines at a time, special. Go middle, middle, middle. It's the siege of the Liberators as well. So with their control, so special is in a very good position in that, in, in that sense as the Marines now encroach onto a couple of tanks. The tanks just have to stand and fight and trade for Marines because otherwise they would get picked off on the retreat. Um, and, and special, yeah, very disrespectful here. Not really leapfrogging or doing anything fancy here. He knows he has enough to just kind of plow through the tanks of Epic and make it onto his side of the map. Epic is just trying to delay him as, ma as, as much as possible, trying to get some some sort of defense set up, some, by the looks of it, some sort of uh, advantage on the air. He wants to contest for that and then and then take, uh, take the air fight and then go for the Liberators himself, right? It's definitely a viable way to approach things, but uh, will he have enough time? I mean, you give him enough time, he's gonna fight his way right back into this game. His economy is so much better than specials right now. Doubling the mineral income is a pretty big deal when we talk about this. And he's winning the air battle. Four Vikings to one, the Liberators are dead. That means this siege, up, this siege is not gonna work. It's starting to wear, well, uh, wear away at the medevac count. And when we look at the supply, right? 98, 84. Special actually had a bit bigger of a supply lead a little bit more recently. 20 of that supply, cats, is in medevacs, which are good. They heal up your army, but as the game goes later and later, Marines get one shot when they're stimmed anyways, once you get plus two mech. So, like, the medevacs being able to keep your army healed up matter a whole lot less when this game gets very late and the damage gets just so bursty. So, yeah, a lot of specials army is in maneuverability. It's in healing, absolutely. But in a straight-up fight, it is better for Epic right now. He's going to... Find a planetary that's not really gonna he's not gonna be able to break this down not with just marines and on the right side special's gonna try to lean into him as well and Whoa. actually yeah special's got what the first seed but the liberators have I mean, it's, it's marines that are defending planetary i think it dies to the tanks oh uh, yeah they're sure. not even repairing but is that worth it because look at the backs out here liberators are gonna start to see up marines run in they're just gonna get knocked down this is so many Oops, tanks right for the picking fine. Stims on top of here. Epic goes as well. And Jeez. all of a sudden, this is massive Jeez. for Epic. So many Absolutely. of these tanks are going to go down. So many Marines have died in the response. And oh. look at the supply. It's a 30 supply lead for Epic all of a sudden. Look at this. That was crazy. That was crazy. And uh, a lot of that is an army. The workers, the work count is kind of stable. But like you were saying, I mean, Special has a bunch of idle workers as well. Because Epic did leave one of those three medevacs here just stationed to make sure that they can delay for as long as possible so very very well done by him to do that while everything else was going on and while he was taking efficient and good trades on the other side and with this air superiority now he can kind of bully the tanks off special right like he has the higher tank count but that's okay if you have air superiority and liberators exactly although you say if you have liberators that's a that's a very that, that if is doing a lot of work here Cats, because there are no Liberators on the map right now. 12 Vikings, 4 Liberators on the way. But we have no Vikings on the map right now. So yeah, <laughs> you can bully the Vikings back. Good job. But uh, again, there's nothing to really take advantage of that at the moment. So Epic, he's got his main base orbital moving over to that base that he lost early on. Scans getting dropped here. Epic wants to know where the army is at any given time. He could kill these medevacs, but instead, my great enemy, the rocks, are here and he's late wasting a lot of dps into them as special attacks which is a really nice heads up move from a special taking advantage of when all the a moves on the rocks you get a bunch of damage done and special's now going to dislodge this position on the north side and it looks like there's a slow liberator siege up trying to knock these tanks down on the scale of damage cats losing the base like this and that is a dead orbital not just lifted off and going elsewhere far more impactful than losing like two tanks no, for sure. I mean, this game is so back and forth at this point. It's such a great game of StarCraft, right? Like, it's uh, game three as well. And uh, both players pretty playing their hearts out. I'm not sure at this point who is going to come out on top, but at multiple multiple points now during this game, I'm like, oh, this game's epic. Oh, this game's specials. And uh, and it's really cool to see, him, to see them both fighting tooth and nail here, as now Epic does have this air superiority and will get a, a little bit of a reprieve here on uh, defense. But Special is going to use this opportunity to try to push through the other side of the map. We'll even go on top of a Liberator 
that is pre-sieged with two tanks behind it as well so uh a, a very ballsy move and maybe could have continued on forward but thinks better of it and epic is here but i, I think special might have been able to get a better position they're not sure yeah, now we're seeing the benefit of special knocking these planetaries down early. It's not something that Epic can afford. All right, he's, ooh, this is his main base orbital that's now over in this position. So you stim three Marines in, they got three, three. They're not dying anytime soon. There are a ton of damage. But now look at this, Epic through the middle of the map. He's gonna have his Liberator Siege. Well, and with the tank siege up as well, it's a beautiful fight for Epic here. He knocks a ton of it down. Oh, don't waste this. I, uh, that's a little bit awkward. He lost 17 SDVs to that. Actually, I guess the Liberator is the, is the big deal. SCVs are going to get pulled through. Oh, nerds. That's not a good feeling. Nerds. So, and this is, it looks, this is how Special wants to win this game. Not through having an army that's going to win this rate of fight. Oh, landing the Vikings here. They're plus one. They're, they're plus zero Vikings. They just don't do anything. They eventually kill off the Marines, but that was Epic's air superiority. He's got six Vikings. His opponent still has zero, but... Man, you know, I think we're, we're, how many star forts are we at? We are at, where's the starport count? I can't see it, I am blind. Hey, one star fort for special, so it's not like he's on multiple star forts. Liberators are gonna siege up here. Marines are gonna deal with the rest of this. So again, Epic is surviving. Yeah, sure is. But he's had like, he's, it's hard to say while well, like, oh, you know, he's clearly he's like, so. nice positioning on the tanks. But we've had so many times where it's like, man, Epic's clearly dead. This is where it feels right right now. His economy is not great. His supply is not great. Mm -hmm. But Epic is Epic has proven three times in this game that even if he's down, he is absolutely not out. He can take these incredible fights. But now, now he's on. Now he's kind of out. Two orbitals, right? Nope. He doesn't have the mules to lean on anymore like he previously did. He doesn't have it's this tough. banger economy like he did earlier, and. At this point, I, this has been an incredible game, but Special showing us how much experience he has. He was, yeah. Special was down and out in this game multiple times, but he knows what to do. He knows how to come back in a game like this. What a great game this was, though. What a great series as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, the rightful winner, but he had to fight for it, right? Like this is an epic that really showed up today and showed that he can compete for the for the region effectively, right? Like if, he, if you can take it to Special, if you can take it to game three, and if you can be as close to winning as you were. I mean, it doesn't get much better than Special for the region. So special is definitely a contender here. And uh, and yeah, so for Epic, I, I think elevated status in the eyes of the people. And uh, and that's good. You know, continue to grind. Get him. Yeah, there's these... Uh, but, well, the tanks are actually poorly upgraded. So the <laughs> SCVs, citizens arrest. The SCVs are going to kill the tank. And I... I man, but... Like, it feels, nothing feels truly really impossible with Liberators. And I'm just looking at this. Like, man, Epic could have squeaked out to a uh, plus two attack for the tanks. I think he wins this game. I think there have been enough times where it's like, you know, the Marines stim in and they, one more tank shot before everything goes down. I, maybe it's possible. But, and I, if I'm Epic, I'm looking back at this game and I'm looking at that Doom Drop at like, what was it, 10 minutes, 12 minutes, something like that. The Doom Drop in the main base that just everything dies and you don't get a good trade. It's like, man. If I hadn't done that, and I just played a little bit more stable of a game, I, this game is mine. I'm 1-0 and zero in the Swiss stage, and I'm feeling really good about it. So it, it's easy to look back and say, yeah, man, I can look at five or six things, and if something happened a little bit differently, I, I think I win this game. And he's I, Okay, he's, he's kind of dead at this point, but he's still making a game of it. He's still making it really hard for Special to kill him. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's fighting tooth and nail here. Special, of course, is uh, spreading like a virus as well on the bottom side of the map and epic is not really finding much success as much as he is trying one of the liberators gets taken down the other one is as bruised as it possibly gets and special is nearly uh now double the supply of epic and trading much more efficiently as the last uh, five to ten minutes or so so things are starting to to snowball towards a close here and there's very little that epic is going to be able to do i think he's going to try here Yes, that does get to clean up onto a couple of those tanks and with the Medivax, maybe he could have looked to try to continue to take that fight until the rest of the Bayou joined in, but I mean, as it stands, it looks pretty impossible, no? It does, it really does, I, but a lot of the supply leads in Marines, the Marines matter less in a TVT, I mean, granted, it's another dead orbital, so that's one, if you're keeping track, one orbital, no, sorry, zero, zero orbitals remaining on the map for Epic at this point, that means no more scans. So. That means no more mules. Epic's economy already shattered, even worse. 
and the only reason that this is like, ah, yeah, he's still in the game is, I mean, he's attacking the tanks here. It doesn't matter anymore. Crusher's got far too much. Simon on top of everything. That's Epic, it. this probably is going to force him out of the game. 47 army yeah. supply to 107. Again, incredible game for Epic. Really well played from both players. But, you know, at the end of the day, the results are what That's we expect, right? Yeah. GG, well played. Oh, GG, well played. I